All right, Hudson Wrestling fans, here we go. 4-0 Hudson Raiders, 5-0 Hudson Raiders taking on the 5-0 Chippewa Falls here tonight down in Chippewa Falls for the conference championship. Tonight's duel is going to start out at 132 pounds. Raiders are going to send out C.J. Steiner. Steiner is 20 and 13 on the year. Going to be taking on, it looks to be senior, Izzy Balzinger wrestling up a weight. Balzinger is, I believe, Balzinger is 26 and 0 on the year. And ranked number one in the state at 120 pounds. Izzy's been wrestling 126, but he'll be down for uh, 120 for state, but they're bumping him up a couple to try to win their first duel in a long, long time against Hudson. All right, here we go. Conference championship on the line. Now, a big thing here for uh, Steiner is to give up as few team points as possible. That everybody knows that Izzy's a returning state champion, ranked number one again this year. Right now, a victory is if we can keep this to a major, it'd be a huge victory. Balsinger does get the first two points in the match. 30 seconds in. Balsinger now leads 2-0. Balsinger's not a pinner. He's a takedown artist, so. And just like we thought. Balsinger cuts him, 2-1 now in favor of Balsinger. He's just so quick, 4-1 now for Balsinger. CJ just got to stay in a good base here. Not real worried about Balsinger turning him. Balsinger cuts him, 4-2 now. He's got a cross face, not underhook. He's got a cross face, and nicely done. Out of bounds we go. 4 2 with 54 seconds to go. Now, CJ's got to tie something up. He's got to get a wrist, got to get an elbow just like that. Keep facing, keep facing. Get a leg. CJ's got to elevate that, bring that in, bring that in. Score on the state champion here. Wouldn't that be a bonus? All right, Balsinger does, he scrambles out of it and takes a 6-2 lead now. We need to see a lot more of that as Steiner. He's got to tie up a wrist. He's got to tie up an elbow. He's got to get in and get a leg. He's got to do something to slow down Izzy. Izzy comes in on the edge, nothing yet. Oh, he had to scoot the other way, not scoot in. And that, oh, he can't give up anything here, and he doesn't. Nope, no near fall, so that's the end of one. 8-3 in favor of Balsinger. CJ goes down to start second period, 132 pounds. Again, conference on the line, the championship right here tonight. Under the lights, down at Chippewa. CJ's got to pick hands, got to come up. Got to make it look like he's doing something, but tick some time off. Balsinger goes ahead and cuts him, 8-4 now. Nice block by Steiner there. He's got to keep his hands up. Now he goes into a rush, and that's nice. He's got the far wrist. Tie him up, slow him down. That was good there. Uh, looks like we got hit with a stalling call already on Steiner. Oh, he's got to roll off his back. That was awful dangerous there. Balsinger does get a takedown, it's 10-4 now. Balsinger cuts him. CJ's got a circle here, he's got a circle. He's already got a stalling call on him, so he's got a circle instead of backing up. Cross face here. He's gotta be careful, he's gotta know when to let go. And he does. 12-5 now. CJ 
trying to control the wrist. Balzinger's trying to turn him here, kind of surprising me. And he does cut him with 19 seconds to go. Now we got to hold him off here, not let him score. Ah, and he went out of bounds. He's got to get his hands up here and he's got to control something. He's got to slow him down. He's got to grab his hand and move forward. Gotta keep circling here. Don't give up. He's got a circle. Don't give anything up here. Keep that. Oh, he gave it up with three seconds. And that'll be the end of the second. Balsinger will take a 14 6 lead and choice in the third period here at 132 pounds. Balsinger's gonna go down. But let's see if uh, let's see if Steiner can break him down, get a leg in here, and take some time off this clock. Like I said earlier, major victory for Balsinger would be a huge victory. That roll through, does a nice job rolling through, does get the reversal, 10, 16 to six now. CJ doing a good job of keeping his hips away. He can control that near wrist. And he got some 16 to 7, balls in here on the good looking single. CJ's got a cross face here. He's got a cross face. Now throw a wizard in. Now throw a wizard in. To your back. They're out. Oh, they're out. They are out. The knees are out. They're out. They're out. Oh, they were out of bounds. Ref didn't call it. Gave him the takedown. It's 18 to 7. Now balls in here with an 11 point lead. 10 point lead now, five away from a tech fall. We got 57 seconds to go in the match. All right, 53 seconds to go. CJ's got to get those hands up, protect those legs. Keep circling, he's going to get another stalling. He's got to circle. All right, so it's eight, 20 to eight, 20 to nine, and we're out, they're out. All right, we got 27 seconds left. I believe it's 20 to nine. He didn't give him the point on the edge, so I think it's 20 to nine. Gotta keep that leg. 22 to 8. No, no, no. As I give that up, belly down. And that should do it right there. That should be a tech fall. I believe it's 24 to 9. That would be a tech fall. Chippewa Falls, a 5-0 lead. We got, uh, I think we're gonna check out the scoring because I don't think they gave him that escape over on the edge of the mat. I think we got 10 points and it would not be a tech fall. Hansen's over there with the scoring book. I don't think it's a tech fall. They didn't give us an escape over on the edge of the mat. Hansen is on top of it and we'll take a quick break and see what happens. All right, well, Coach Hansen just came back. Yep, it was. It was. So, that's even better yet. Like we just said, a major decision would be a victory for CJ, and it was. It was 24 to 10. They did miss the point over there. Coach Hansen caught it. It's going to bring up 138 pounds. Raiders are going to send out Austin Koski. Koski is... Uh, where are we here? Koski's 24 and 11 on the year. I did not hear who Chippewa sent out. Anybody here? We'll have to wait and listen. I thought I heard Paps. I think it's Tate Paps. Freshman. I don't think I have any stats on Paps, but I'll take a look. 
Either way, we're at 138, second match of this championship duel. Koski's in working the Russian. Nope, I don't have any uh, points on Paps. All I know is he's a freshman. Koski looking to dig it out on the edge. All right, 38 and 45 are a couple of the swing matches in my book, and we really would really do ourselves well by winning this one and the next one. The meat of uh, Chippewa's lineup is basically from six all the way up to where we started, and they got a very good 220 pounder too. And the meat of our lineup is obviously is 52 to 82. All right, we're down to 40 seconds in the first period. Still no score. Koski trying to run the rush, and again, Paps keeps working the edge of the mat. Keeps backing up. At, he should get hit with a stalling right there. No stalling yet. Paps does continue to just keep backing up. Referee hasn't dinged him yet. Koski keeps pushing it forward. Caution's got to come. There it is. Finally, we get the stalling call with uh, four seconds to go in the first period. And that's how the first is going to end. 0-0, zero, zero. going in the second, Koski's got choice, and is going to choose down, start second period. We do have a stalling on Paps. Right, Koski's got to get up and out of here and get his, get his takedowns going. Koski up quickly, Paps tries the T-bar, Koski trying to gain hand control, turn it in, and that should be a point. There it is, Koski takes a 1-0 lead. In all honesty, we need, need more than a decision out of Koski here tonight. Koski into a front head. Koski trying to run a quarter, see if he can get this quarter to work. That would be nice. There he goes into a head and arm. All right, Koski does have a takedown. No near fall, but we did get the takedown, 3-0. I was on a reversal, that's not a reversal. That was not a reversal, he gave him the reversal. Did give him the escape, so that was 4-2. That was not a reversal, in my opinion. And half the stadium. And half the stadium's opinion. Koski's got to get his leg attacks going here. He's got to get off those railroad tracks, create an angle, and take a shot. Now he's running the front head, trying to come around. And there it is, now it'll be 6-2. They do have the score wrong again. Koski trying to work this into a cradle, it looks like. Koski is going for a pin. Does give him the escape, so it's 6-3. He hasn't lost control. He shouldn't have even gotten an escape there. Koski looking to score at the end. There's two. Koski does. Now it's going to be 8-3 going into the third and final period. Coach Huff, Huff is heading the scorer's table because the score is wrong. Should be eight. Uh, they haven't corrected it yet, but and we're, and we're going back again. We'll take a break while they sort this out. There we go. All right, there we are back. Finally, we get the score right. 8-3 going into the third. Koski looks like he's going to go alternate start, and he is. Koski does let him go. 
looking for a front head. I don't know if he's looking for a helm here or what he's looking for, a head throw. I think he's trying to do everything he can do to get a fall here is what he's looking for. 8-4 now. He can keep that underhook, jack that up, then you come across with the left hand. Costa goes in, nice looking double, look for the half. And he rolls through it. That's two, he's looking, costa has got a bar. Unable to get it, he's still got the bar tight. Awful close to potentially dangerous though. And we get the potentially dangerous with a minute 15 to go. 10-4 now with a minute 15 to go in this 138 pound match. Koski's up by six, all right. Coach just told him we're looking for a major decision here so we can tie this duel up. 10-5 now, he needs two more takedowns. He's got to go at him. We already got a stalling call on Pat Stu. Pat's working the edge of the mat. Again, Austin's on those railroad tracks. Not looking for an angle. Now he's going a little bit of an angle here. He's got his leg attacks going. Now he jumps in on the single. Paps goes down, and there's two. 12-6 12, 12, now. And we go out of bounds. 12-6. All right, a takedown here puts us into a major. We got 25 seconds to get it. Big two-point takedown here. Costa goes in, nice looking double. Got to come back around and gets the two takedown with 12 seconds to go. Now he's got to ride him out and stay down. And we get a stalling call with 1.2 seconds to go. That's fine. Nothing hurt there. Koski can hold on 1.2 seconds. Just got to hang on. And he does. Austin Koski wins by a score of 14 to 6 and ties this championship match up at four apiece. Going to bring up 145 pounds. Looks like we're going to send out Nick Johnson for the Raiders. And we'll have to see. I think it's going to be Nutsman. Nutsman for uh, Chip, but we'll wait and see what they say. You see the Chippewa guys over on the edge, not reporting yet. The coach is over there. We'll see if they're gonna play a little, uh, play some games with us here. They do have two guys over near the edge of the mat. Can't see around the cheerleaders, but the coaches are over there, not sure what they're discussing. Chippewa coaches are over there. Now our coach is going over there. We'll take another time out. <laughs> okay. Corey? What did he say? Cody? Corey? Is this guy? Who? Kubasak. 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 I don't even see him on here. Oh, there he is. Kubasak. Well, we got uh, Jory Kubasak out there. I don't, oh, there he is. He's 152 listed. Down to 145 tonight. 145 all tied up at four apiece. Uh, Nick Johnson is 15 and two on the year. And let's see if I can see what Kubasak is at. Oh, it's right up in front of you. Hey, that's easy. 11 and five. So by record here, that we seem to be evenly matched. But Johnson is wrestling up from his normal 138. You can see he's giving up some size and weight here. Again, we talked about that 138 and 145 till we hit our, our big dogs. This is a big, big match for the Raiders. Johnson can pull this one off. 
Kubasak in on the single. Johnson doing a good job of hopping out. And we go out of the bounds and no takedown. Nicely done by Johnson. Very nicely done. We get a caution on Johnson and have his foot on the line. Nick goes in looking for a low single. Tries to switch it up into a Kelly. He's got to keep that cover. Got to cover and he gets a nice 2-0 takedown. He's got to use that half. If he can pop those arms up, Billy down. Now he can go to work on the power half. He's got to stay behind the arms, behind the armpits. Johnson does have a leg in. Now he is looking for that power half. Johnson's got to be attacking the elbow, not up at the armpit. Now trying to dig out a bar. And we get a we get a stalling on Johnson. Called a parallel ride. I mean, he was trying to dig a bar out. I don't agree with that one either, but it is what it is. Yeah, call stalling on Johnson for parallel ride. Johnson does have the hooks in. Now if he can run that half, he's got that nice tight half in there. Now if he can pull his right arm up, go right into a power half. Johnson lost his hook, he's gotta be careful. Now we're approaching the end of the first period and that should be the way it's gonna end. Johnson is able to bar up, but that's the end of the first period here at 145. Johnson has a Johnson has a 2-0 lead going into the second. Johnson's got choice, and he's going to go down to start this third per second period, I'm sorry. Johnson's got to look for hand control right off that whistle, and we get a caution on Kubasak. Johnson resets. Nick looking for a switch off the whistle. I don't like that switch off the whistle. It works in the middle school, but not so often in high school. Oh, right, now he might get it though. He steps over, he got to step over. That's two. Johnson takes a 4-0 lead now with a minute 45 going to second. He did a good job of riding Kubasak in the first period. Let's see if we can do it again and get some near fall out of this. Personally, I'd like a little more breathing room in this match. Johnson does a good job getting the hooks in, popping. Now going right into a power half. Some of the fans and coaches are calling for stalling on the bottom. Johnson trying to dig that bar out again. Kubasak able to roll it back in. And we do finally get stalling on the bottom, so we got a stalling call piece here. Johnson's got to be careful. Just be careful here and be patient. Kubasak does have, look like, about three, four inches on him. Just got to be careful. Good move, getting a little bit of trouble. Screwed out of bounds, we get a restart. 54 seconds to go in the second. Still 4-0 in favor of Johnson. This would be by far Nick Johnson's biggest match of his high school career if he can pull out this victory here. Johnson goes right back to the hooks. Trying to roll the left wrist in. Now he looks to go to work on the right wrist. Hard to tell from this angle. Still trying to dig in a power half here. Got to get the hooks back. You got to be careful. Johnson does get the hook back in. Now he's looking for the Hudson fans are looking for another stalling call here. Keep coming, keep coming. Gotta be patient here. We're coming down to uh, five seconds. I'd rather see him get no points than give up anything here. And that's the end of the second. All right, Kubasak is going to have a uh, choice. And we got a blood timeout. Awesome. All right, here we are back, third and final period, 145. Uh, we still got a little bit of blood. We'll stay with it, though. 
I'm sure they have to just wipe his hand off. So we're about to start the third and final period, this 145. Johnson has a 4-0 lead. Duel all tied up at four apiece. Big, big win here for Nick Johnson if he can pull this off. He's got two more minutes. And uh, Kubasak is going to go neutral. All right, Nick taking them down once and reversed them once. Another big takedown here. Kubasak does have a stalling call on him, too. Nicely done. That was good. That was good. Nick tried to pass the elbow and does give up a takedown. He missed the leg, so it's 4-2 now. Got a minute 34 to go. All right, let's, Nick did reverse him last time. Let's see if he can do it again. Nick's got to be looking for hand control here. All right, Johnson trying to come up to his base here. Actually trying to pull that arm over and then hip over. Johnson does it, now he's gotta come up with that. Now he's gotta come up. Gotta keep his head up. No, don't be reaching over. Now he's gotta to try to turn in. Gotta be careful of the cradle here. This scuba sack is real long. Referee's down there looking at Johnson. Johnson does have a stalling call on him, too. Don't want to give up one here. Got to come up. Got to be careful of the cradle, but he's, Johnson's got wrist control. Now he can face him. Turn and face him. Face him. He's got to face him. Johnson trying to suck in that single. I'll suck that in. There you go, Nick. Johnson tries to come out the back door and does it. Nicely done. Nick Johnson gets a reversal and the victory at 145 pounds to give the Raiders a 7-3 lead. Nice win for Nick Johnson. So the Raiders do take a 7-4 lead into 152. It looks like Hudson's going to be doing some substitutions. So Hudson's sending out Cal Johnson. Cal Johnson's very first varsity match of, of this year, for sure, to take on, uh, who do we got here? Lucas Knott. Lucas Knott is what they have listed at 138. Let me see, uh, Lucas Knott did wrestle 145 at the Chippewa Falls tournament. Uh, Lucas Knott, 16 and 12 on year, taking on 0 and 0 Johnson. All right, let's see if we can get another victory here. All right, here we go, 152. Cal Johnson for the Raiders, taking on Lucas Knott for Chippewa. out of bounds and we got a stalling call right off the bat. Boy, this rep ain't fooling around here tonight with those stalling calls. There's been no stalling points awarded, but every match has had a stalling call, if not two in it. Johnson keep going forward, keep pummeling in. Looking to come in on singles, gotta be careful here. Oh. And Johnson trying to gain wrist control. Not coming up with the collar tie. Johnson trying to slide by. Johnson gotta be careful here. And we go out of bounds. Minute six to go in the first.
Johnson in on the Russian. And we go out of the bounds again. Down to 48 seconds to go in the first period. Still no score. Johnson goes in, looking for a single. Let's see if he can finish. And we go out of the bounds. No points. Johnson quickly up into the center. I like to see that. Final 20 seconds, still no score. Not much happening right now. Oh, Johnson's got to be careful here. And we go out of bounds. 14 seconds ago, he's got to be aware of that and keep his hips back. Every shot that Nod has taken has just been a slap out there. Johnson, do a short drag here and do a short drag here. And we go out of bounds again. How many times have we got to run him out of bounds to get that second stalling call? been knots, whole shots all night. Just a reach and single. No shot, no setup. I don't know, is it me or you? just me? Not looks tired already. That looks very tired already. We're only starting the second period. Johnson will choose down. There it is. Johnson takes a 1-0 lead. Now the bounds, we get a restart in neutral. Nicely done by Cal. All right, now we need a big takedown here. Big takedown here out of Johnson. Cal's got to circle to his right, to Knott's left. Every shot Knott has taken has been just a reach and single with his right arm. See, and there it is again. Johnson's got to work the left side. He's got to work the left side of Knott. Cal really needs a takedown here. Johnson goes in, now he's got a circle to his right, circle to his right, circle to his right to cut the corner. And we go out of bounds. Johnson was in on a single, but he's got a circle to the right to cut that corner. All right, we're under a minute. Second period here, 152. Still no takedowns in this match. There's not in again, just on that reach. Oh, the head and arm is right there. All right, Cal's got to be careful here. He's got to fight this off, and we go out of bounds. Boy, Knott's got his hands on his knees and everything. Come on, Cal. He's got to go after him here. He's tired. He's got to work on Knott's left-hand side. Left-hand side. Boy, he was awful quick with that first stalling call. Now we can't get one. He's pushed him out of bounds about 10 times. That should be a point. That should be a stalling. That should be a point. And Coach Hansen is going over to the bench. There it is. Yep, that'll be a point. He just gave him the second styling call, not walked off the mat. Looked like he did legitimately have a contact come out, but you've got to tell the ref. You can't just walk off the mat. So that'll be the second styling call. So it's 2 nothing now. Favorite Johnson, we got 29 seconds to go in the second period. Gail's got to keep pushing, get another point here, get another point here. He's got to keep driving to that, keep driving to that. Got to keep driving, he's got to keep driving this. Oh, he's close. And 
that's the way the second's gonna end. All oh, so close. Johnson will take a 2-0 lead into the third. Now, now we got uh, now we got the referee saying that Johnson walked off the mat. Johnson did not walk off that mat. That is not stalling. Let's see if uh, the referee takes it back. Otherwise, no, that's Johnson's first stalling call. But he did not walk off the mat. That is not stalling. Chris has got to be careful over there. We don't want to give up a point. But Johnson did give up a, he did give up a stalling call. According to the referee, anyways. In the meantime, this kid's getting rested. That's no yep. All right, here we go. Third and final period. 152. Johnson has a 2-0 lead. Not will start down. See if Johnson can ride him out here. Take some time. He did not have locked hands. And we get a restart, and there's a locked hands. 2-1. Now a takedown for now an escape ties this up. All right, he's in on takedown. See if he can fight this off. And he gave him a point for the escape. We get a restart now the ball. All right. Coming down to a takedown. We got a caution on Nod here. All right, big takedown here. We got a minute for it to go. What a match we got going. I love it. All right, Cal. Nott is really tired. He's gotten a stalling call. He's got to keep pushing him. Create that angle. Let's pick up another stalling call. Looking for a stall. And we're still neutral. We got a minute 20 to go. Johnson doing a nice job of tying up his wrist. See if Johnson can pass that elbow into a single shot here. Oh, the head and arm was right there. Johnson can hit over here and come around. He's got to come around. He's got to butt drag that around and keep going, Cal. Hook the ankle and come around. There's two. There it is. Cal Johnson gets it. He's got to be careful. Nope, he rolled through. We're down to 30 seconds ago. He's just got to hang on to this. Give him one, not two. Johnson's got to lock it up. Johnson's got to come up. Johnson's got to come up to his hips. Got to get his hips up. Go get him. All right, first takedown wins. Come on, Cal. Here we go. Overtime. Conference championship. Wouldn't want it any other way. Lucas Knott wins in overtime by a score of 6-4. That's going to tie this duel up at 7 apiece. Nicely fought match by Cal Johnson. Very first uh, match of his this year on varsity and takes it into overtime and we tie the match up. 
Let's see who we got up next at 160. We got Kolya going out. Kolya Hawksford for the Raiders, the fifth ranked kid at 152 up at 60. Let's see who we got here for uh, Chippewa Falls. So we got Cody Peshka up at 160. All right, Cody on year is uh, 30 and two. Like I said, ranked fifth in state at 152. And Cody Peshka is 20 and eight on the year. Oxford right in on a Russian. To go out of the bounds, minute 39 to go, 160. Oxford right back into that Russian, obviously his favorite. And we'll get a restart with a minute 17 to go. Boy, that last match is the lowest I've heard a wrestling match in a long time. Wish they were all like this. <laughs> it was a great match. That was a great match by Cal. And we get another restart. Oxford keeps pushing. Uh, Petska on the edge, no stalling calls yet. Oxford right back to the Russian. Petska working his way to the edge of the mat. Oxford in looking for a double and gets it right on the edge. Oxford got 2 0. Oxford does have wrist control underneath there. Now, if he can keep that wrist, go right into a half. Right into a half there. Down to 25 seconds. Fashka goes out of the bounds and we'll get a restart with 22 seconds to go. Oxford goes right into a bar. Does he even keep this? Oxford again, rolling the wrist under. Running out of time, though. And that will be the end of the first period. Oxford will take a 2-0 lead. Petska has choice. He's going to defer. Oxford will probably go down. No, Coach Hansen wants him on top. Coach Hansen just told Hawksford, we want to pin him. We don't want to take him down. Hawksford right back, looking for that bar. A two point reversal there, and Hawksford rolls through, so it's 4 2. That was a little scary there for a second. looking for a seat belt here. I'm not really sure what he's looking for here. I, I 
really don't know what kind of a pinning combination he's trying to trying to score. We're looking for a ball and chain tilt here. Right into a half. Yeah. And we're approach under under 20 seconds here in the second period. Peska keeps crawling out to the edge of the mat. We still got no warning here. And we get a restart. 10 seconds ago. All right, Oxford's got to ride them out now. And Oxford goes back after that move again, but I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Well, that's all the sec second period ends into the third. Hawksford has a 4-2 uh, lead. And Peska's going to choose neutral. I know Hawksford's looking for a fall here. Let's see if he goes into a, into a throw. Again. Peska just keeps backing up. We need that in the center of the mat. <laughs> Coach Johnson just said that. Do that in the center. Peska looks tired out there too. Oxford comes in on a single. Trying to get in bounds. He's gotta come down, look for a half here. And he gets a takedown. 4-2 now. Stalling calls. Coach Johnson's don't run a helm. I'd like to see a helm. <laughs> I haven't seen a helm in a while. Do it. Do it. See if he can do it. He's got it. See if he can do it. said that he's working his way up into a cradle, but we go out of bounds. All right, we got 27 seconds to go. Oxford looking for, we need at least four more points here. Oxford right back at the helm again. Front head, looking for a helm. Can't get it now. And that's how it's going to end. Koya Hawksford wins by a score of six to two over Cody Petska giving the Raiders a 10-7 lead. The only thing that worries me is we need six points out of these big guys because 
Once we hit 106, things are going to change in a hurry for uh, Chippewa Falls. Again, that's the strength of their team down there. Next up, we got Tanner Owens bumping up to 170. He should be taking on senior Ray Hibbs. Tanner Owens. And he is. So the uh, fourth ranked 24, 29 and 4 wrestler at 152 bump or 60 bumps up to 170 to take on Ray Hibbs, 24 and 4 on the year. Need six points. Hoping for six points out of Cody and Tanner. Due to all the moving we did, hopefully we didn't outthink ourselves and move up into our better guys taking on their better guys and winning, but not getting the bonus points. So we have a minute 20 to go. Still no score. 170 pounds. Hips out of Chippewa taking on Owens at Hudson. Tanner goes in looking for a high crotch, and we go out of bounds. Boy, Chip was wrestling the edge of the mat this whole duel. Hips does get hit with a stalling call. They're constantly backing up to the edge. Oh, Tanner's got a nice duck under there. If he can pass that left elbow, We're going to restart with 45 seconds to go. Still first period. Darren goes right in a nice looking ankle pick. He's got to come on. All he has to do is cover his other waist. If he get his right arm through and cover his hip, that's two. And we go out of bounds, no points. And we got another stalling call, about time. 1-0 in favor of Owens. That's how the first period is going to end. Owens takes a 1-0 lead and choice. Going to defer. Hibbs is going down to start second. All right, Owens gets the leg in. And we got a reversal and two near foul. Now Owens trails by a score of four to one. That was a big roll through for Hibbs. Owens trying to face himself, looking for a Granby there. Start with a minute 18 to go. All right, Owens has got to get up and out of here. Get a takedown. Owens up with hand control, up with hand control. Got to circle in, circle in. Owens got to keep fighting it because he'll get a stalling call out of this. We'll get another stalling. Oh, it's got to be a stalling call. Oh, that should be a stalling call, but no call. 
typically, I believe the rule is, is roughly five seconds, you got to make an attempt to bring your opponent back to the mat. One's back up again, trying to gain hand control. Step it in, and that should be one. There's one. Now one's got to work for a reversal here. One's trying to come up. He's got to hook, just hook the leg. He needs to hook the leg. There he goes. Owens does get the reversal. 3-4 now, and 4-3 actually in favor of hips. Owens looking for a cradle here. Boy, does he got it locked up? He's got it locked up. He can sit out here. He's come straight back. Coming up on the end of the second, doesn't look like Owens is gonna get the cradle near fall and doesn't. So into the third we go. Owens trailing by a point, but does have choice. Gotta go down. He's gotta get the escape here. up to his feet, looking for hand control, and he cuts him this time. Here we are, all tied up, 4-4. Yep. Tanner goes for a nice looking ankle pick, he's got it. Oh, he's so close. Right idea, that's exactly what he needs to do. Final minute, 30 seconds here at 170 pounds. Hips looks for an ankle. Owens gets an ankle, but again on the edge of the mat, and we keep backing up. Owens got to keep that pressure on. Backing up again, still backing up. Owens comes in, nice looking high crotch. Looking to finish, he's got to finish this. Not two. And we go neutral and it's 4-4. Four, four. Minute five to go. All right, Owen's gotta go right back after him. Can't get gun shy there. Goes in on a single. Now let's see if we can finish this time. Keeps his hip fast. That's two. Near fall. Oh, we had near fall down there, and the referee wasn't even on the other side. Owens has a 6 4 lead with 28 seconds to go. On the final 10 seconds, Owen's still holding on to a 6 4 lead. And that is how it's going to end. Tanner Owens wins by a score of 6 to 4, standing the Raider lead 13 to 7 now. Since everybody's bumping up, I expect to see Dima. Yep, Dima's got his headgear. Oxford will be bumping up from 70 uh, to 82. Let's see who, uh, I think they're gonna send out senior Parker Levine. See if I can find any stats on Levine. I don't see any from the Chippewa Falls tournament. Wrestlers over the scoring table. We'll see if it if it uh, indeed is. Yep, it is Parker Levine. All right. Now we know Dima's a pinner. We need six here. Dima goes right into the McCarty. Goes right back over. That should be two. Nope. Didn't get it.
Demon goes in, single. Demon likes to throw, but he's got to realize now he's wrestling a kid that's heavier and probably stronger than he's normally used to. Sets up the throw. The shot sets up the throw. Again, we're on the edge of the mat. Chippewa Falls has had their back to their to the mat this whole duel. I don't think it's by coincidence either. I don't think so either. Oxford comes in with the underhook. That goes back in on a single. And now he can come with a head here. Let him pop his head up and you throw it. Now you throw it, right there. Oh. Down to 30 seconds to go in the first period. Still no score. Oxford goes in to looking at the Russian. Now we're down to 9.8 seconds, still no score. Astros just backing up, backing up, backing up, and that's the end of the first. To keep him in the center of the map. Yep. Levine's going to go down to start the second period here, 182. Oxford looking to run in the half here. This will work. Oh, keep running that spiral. I like that spiral half. Demon looking to dig a bar out here. Oxford trying to get the bar, he's close and loses it. All right, Oxford back to the half. this here. Take his time. He's got to slow down. Turn him in. And we're going to get a restart with 57 seconds to go in the second. Quite tell what the Hawks was trying to look for. Maybe he's trying to dig an arm out here again. Yep, still trying to dig a bar out. Levine doing a good job of hipping out of it. up on the final five seconds. Oxford looking for a tilt here. Almost got it, but no score. Still 0-0 zero, zero into the third. Oxford will go down. Oxford up to his feet. Now if he could reach behind here. There it is! There it is! There it is! Hawksburg's looking 
looking for the foul. Just settle in here. Hawksman looking hard. Oh, he's flat. He's got to be flat there. He's got a lot of time. He's got a minute 34 here. Oh, there he is. He's flat. There he is. Come on. escape. Well, the ref's flashing a lot of fingers out there, but I'm not sure what he was doing. He just kept repeating himself. All right, here we go. Minute 16. Hawksford has a score says 6-1, so we're going to assume it's right. Hawksford goes in, nice looking ankle pick. Eight one now. We gotta let him go. We're one point away from a major. This takedown here, if we get it, would be a major. Eight two. Demon's gotta go after him though. Demon comes in, nice looking. If he can get a left arm up in there for a half, 10 2 now, we do have a major. All right, now he's just, now he's just got to ride him and try to turn him again. Boy, that six points would have been big. I hope it doesn't come back to haunt us. Oxford's got a half on here. He's got six seconds. Oxford does get three more near falls, so Oxford wins the match by, oh, he only got two near fall. Wins the match by a score of 12 to two. That is a major decision, four points. It will now be 17 to seven in favor of your Raiders. And that's gonna bring up 195 pounds where we're gonna see Derek Schindler. Not sure who we're gonna see for, uh... let me see if I can get Derek on the air. Derek is uh, also ranked, oh, Dima was ranked number 11th at 170. Schindler is, he's ranked 14th at 182, but wrestling 195 here tonight. Derek Schindler is 26 and eight on the year, wrestling Matt Young. See if I got anything on Young. Young is five and four on the year, best I can tell. All right, let's see if we can get that uh, patented fireman's into right to his back for Schindler. Right into a cradle, here we go. There we go, let's see if we can get a fall on this one here. <coughs> Schindler does a nice job rolling out of it. We did get three, Schindler has a 5-0 lead, minute 25, a lot of time to go yet here. Schindler switching off into a bar, does have the far wrist. Schindler's gonna cut him, 5-1 now. Looks like Young was looking for a little head and arm of his own. Not very well, but he looked for it. Schindler goes behind, takes a 7-1 lead. Derek. But we need six here. We need six. Because the next match coming up <laughs> might be six the other way. 
Good chance of it. Schindler trying to run that half. Got to come out. Schindler trying to dig an arm out. Schindler right back into the half again. Let's see if we can get a couple near fall count here. Gotta be careful. And that's how the first ends. Schindler has a 7-1 lead. Young was looking for a head and arm again there. Nine one now in favor of Schindler. Now he's looking for the cradle again. Looks to have it locked up. Now he's just got to slow down now here. Now he's got to be pinned. He's stuck. You got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Sure, he's got the old cow catcher in this time, but he's horsing it a little too fast. Right on the edge of the mat, we can't see nothing now. Oh, there he is, that's pinned, he's pinned. Oh my God. What more does this referee want? Referee's not seeing here. There, finally, Derek Schindler wins by fall over Matt Young. That's going to give the Raiders a 23 to 7. But don't go away, folks. We're about to hit the uh, meat of Chippewa's order, and it kind of starts right about now. We're going to have the second-ranked Grant Schindler up taking on sophomore Elliot Motu. Motu is 20 and 10 on the year. Schindler is 16 and 2. 25 and 2. Schindler. Schindler, the number two ranked 25 and 2. here a victory would not get pinned. That would be a victory. It's gonna catch him, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, has got a circle, he's got a circle. The ref already said something to him. Nice job of circling in. Alright, we got a minute twelve to go in the in the first period here at two twenty. Who has the underhook? Now he's got a lock on him. And we go out of bounds. Motu doing a nice job so far, slowing down Schindler. We do finally get the stalling call. 26 seconds to go in the first. 
Schindler trying to go behind. We gotta be awful careful here. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Just like I said, folks, there it is. I got it right back. Team score now is 23 to 13. Raiders still leading. Next up is gonna come uh, sophomore, Matthias Tobin taking on senior, Dom Goyette. Goyette is 22 and seven on the year. Taking on Tobin who is 22 and 13 on the year. All right, here we go, heavyweight. Right here, boy, if Tobin could hold this to just a decision, it'd be really big. Tobin, as you can see, giving up a bunch of weight too. Just like Motu was the Schindler. for a, a typical heavyweight match. Very low scoring. <laughs> Two to one would be great. Matthias winning. <laughs> Can't afford to give up any bonus points because we really are gonna hit the meat of their order here coming up very shortly. No points. <laughs> Tobin tries to look for a rush in there, maybe into a slide by. But Goyette is awful big to move. Best thing for Tobin right now, in my opinion, is just keep pummeling in, pummeling in, trying to keep position, not give up a takedown. Keep circling and pummeling, circling and pummeling. Now he's got to circle in here. We don't want to give up a stalling call in the first period. We go out of bounds, 18 seconds ago. We don't want to give up a takedown here. No. Keep circling, final seconds, there it is. First period is over at 285. Tobin and Goyette tied at zero apiece. And Goyette's gonna go down to start the second period. No one's gotta give up one, not two. 2-0 now in favor of Goyette. Tobin doing a nice job getting back up to his base. And Goyette trying to run a trying to run a half, it looks like. See if Tobin come up and start getting some hand control. See if we can get him to turn in on Goyette. Tobin still or Goyette still trying to run that half. Tobin doing a good job of looking the way, getting hand control, keeping control of his hips. That look, kind of looks like a parallel ride to me. We got dinged with one of them tonight. Let's dig them with one. Go 
Coach Hansen telling Tobin, get up, get up to your base. Nothing ever good happens when you're on your belly and your head is on the mat. Tobin trying to come over the hips. Nicely done. Nicely done by Matthias. Coming up on the final 30 seconds here, the second period. And we got a whistle, we got blood. Not, nope, just referee's time. Looks like he may have thought he seen blood, but nope. So we're gonna get another restart, 28 seconds ago. Tobin doing a good job of fighting off any type of turn attempts by Goyette. Let's see if he can do it for another 20, Six seconds. All right, under five seconds. And there it is. All right, into the third and final period here at 285. Tobin's gonna have choice. Tobin's gonna take top. Not a bad choice, I think that's what I'd have chosen. See if we can try to ride them out a little bit. Tobin just got rode that whole period. Gotta be careful here. And he gives up the one. 3 0 now. All right, now let's see if Tobin just hand fight, hand fight, hand fight. Pummel in, stay good position. Still no stalling calls given up, is there? I don't think so. Tobin can give up a takedown. He's just gotta stay off his back. Ref just said something to Tobin, too, so that was probably his. First and only verbal warning. You do it again, son, you're getting dinged. Tobin looks for a Russian. Tobin's got to keep pummeling in, pummeling in, keep the elbows in, elbows in. There it is. Like we said, he got the verbal. He's got a circle, circle. He's got a circle here, he's got a circle. Keep circling, there he goes. I don't know why we think it's that hard to do, the circle. Just a couple of steps like that keeps a rep off your back. Ah, we got, we got a stalling anyways, even when we did circle. All right, it's 4-0 now, 45 seconds ago. We still got, you know, three points to give and be safe. Seven to nothing's the same as four to nothing. Tobin Goon did a darn good job in this match. Couldn't have asked anything more out of Matthias in this match. Perfect. Tobin's got to be careful here. Circle, circle, circle. And there it is. Dominic Goyette wins by a score of 4-0 over Matthias Tobin. It's going to bring up 106 pounds. sending out Mitch Fanning. I don't see him. There he is. It will be Mitch Fanning for your Raiders. I might tell you what Fanning's record is on the year. All right, 
Fanning is 9 and 16 on the year, taking on AJ Kmeyer. Kmeyer is 23 and 7 on the year. Does get the first two points of this 106 pound match. Here's another big one. Fanning has got to stay off his back. Off his back. Start with the minute 12 to go. It's still 2 0. Team score is going to be 23 to 22, still in favor of your Raiders. But that lead is getting ever so small. We should probably be seeing Justin Went, senior, coming up for Chippewa to take on. Let's see what we got here. Nick Nelson to take on Nick Nelson. All right, big match here, boys. Big match. <laughs> Nelson on the year. Let me see what we got. Nelson is 23 and 13 on the year. Wyant was hurt. Wyant is, best I can tell, is 3 and 1 on the year. And gets the first takedown, takes a 2-0 lead. Wyant looking for a cradle. Nelson's got to see that, not give that up. Did get two near fall, so it is 4-0 now. Nelson trying to Gramby out of this. You don't have it. Suck the leg in and get a reversal. Looking for the Gramby, but he doesn't have it. stalemate with 101 to go in the first. Six seconds ago, still 4 0. And we got a little blood time. All right, we're back after that blood time. Still 36 seconds ago in the first, 4 0 in favor of Wyant. Wyant looking for that cradle again. got the cradle locked in again. Nelson looking for a switch here. Doesn't get it. Did we give up any near fall? No, we didn't give any near fall. So still 4-0 here at the end of the first. And there it is. Ryan will take a 4-0 lead over Nelson. choose down, start third, second. There's a reversal for Wyant, 6-0.
trying to bar up Nelson. Nelson giving it to him. Nelson's got to come up to his hips. There. That's how you get away from that bar. Get off your belly. Nelson looking for a Gramby again. You gotta be careful here, let go of that arm. All right, Nelson needs to get up to his base. Oh, now we go right in their coffee grinder. And we'll go out of the bounds, get a restart. 43 seconds to go. For the bar, looking for the wrist. Nelson's got to get up to his base, get his hips up. There he goes. Just got to be careful here not to get stacked. Not to get stacked. Oh, that was close. All right, we're under 10 seconds. Nelson's got to hang on here, not give up anything. That's all the second ends. Wyant has a 6-0 lead. Nelson has choice. Nelson's going neutral. Wyant in on a single on Nelson. Nelson looking for a splato. He's looking for a splato. Gotta get the ammo. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. All right, now Nelson's got a minute 37 to get up and get out of there to get the escape to put this back into a decision. Right now, Wyan has a major with an 8-0 lead. Not feeling real good about Nick getting out of there. Wyan looking for a farmer's bar. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going, keep going. Nelson but trying his darn disability down. I don't know if he can fight it much more. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nelson. Come on. Come on. did a great job of fighting off his back. Does give up the major. And now uh, Chippewa Falls takes their first lead in quite a few matches since the first match of the night was their first lead. Now they regained it with two matches ago. We got sophomore Timmy Fea coming up to take on uh, Quentin Miracle. I don't think this one's gonna last very long for the Raiders. I hope I'm wrong. Quick Miracle, the second ranked wrestler at 113 pounds for Chippewa Falls. <coughs> so any type of bonus point victory here puts the match away for Chippewa. 
Now I can finally say it. The Raiders have not lost a conference match since December of 04. So we had a good seven year run, but it looks like it may come to an end tonight. But what happens with a, a defeat? Another streak will start. But it ain't over yet. It ain't over. You never know. But anything other than decision gives them a six point lead, then the best we could do is tie. And I don't even want to count that up. <laughs> of course, Hudson has lost a conference championship back in 2004 on a tie with River Falls. I'm really surprised Miracle's not cutting them and letting them go and cutting them and letting them go. And 50 seconds ago in the first, still 2-0 in favor of Miracle. Again, if you couldn't hear with the crowd noise, Miracle is the number two ranked kid at 113 pounds for Chippewa. seconds of the first. Timmy doesn't look to be in any danger of being pinned yet right here. And back here we go. So Miracle will take a 5-0 lead into the second. Miracle will have choice. I'm sure he'll defer. Now he's going to go down. Timmy doing a good job trying to hang on to a leg here. Still no one awarded for the escape on Miracle. Instead of one, we'll give up two. And he does give up two, so it is now 7-0. Miracle right back into the cradle. Time. We got a minute 17 to go for Timmy to fight this off. If Miracle can't quite pin him, he'll just roll back over and get another three. Right now, as it stands with a minute seven to go, it's 10 0. And Timmy does roll out of it. There it is, 10 0. We got 50 seconds to go in the second. Miracle is a junior. He's about the only kid they got coming back next year. <laughs> they got to be graduating, you know, 10 out of their 14 weight classes. Timmy looking for a reversal here. See if he can finish this. And he does. Nicely done by Timmy. There you go. 10 2 with 20 seconds to go in the second. Run to the final 10. Timmy, just ride them out here. And that's the end of the second here at 120. Going into the third and final period, Miracle's got a 10-2 choice. Timmy's going to go down. Well, he's been cradled, what, twice for sure, maybe three times. Let's see if Timmy's learned anything. The cable is too close to the man. <laughs> I don't 
six feet. <laughs> Timmy's looking for a Gramby. I don't see that happening in a million years on Miracle. Miracle's working for a cradle. Timmy's got an overhook. If he can switch that into an underhook. And here comes the cradle again. Timmy does a nice job breaking that. Boy, if Timmy could get up and out of here, he'd take this out of a major. Well, let's do it right at the end of the match. All right, Timmy gets some hand control. Looking for the cradle again. Timmy trying to come up and get a switch. Oh, that would have been a big one. Boy, he really needs to get away here. Kind of looks like Miracle stalling to me. Come on, Timmy, let's get out of here. Come on, Timmy. That's gonna, that's gonna do it. Quentin Miracle wins by a score of 10 to two over Timmy Faya. That's gonna be a major decision. Making the score 30 to 23. Raiders can't catch him, but let's see who we uh, end this duel with. Looks like we're gonna end with Yuri. Yuri's gonna get his, his first varsity uh, match of his career. <laughs> let's see uh, who uh, Chip is gonna send out here. Find Gager any stats on him. Gager is 19 or 13 and 9 on the year, and Yuri is 0-0. Zero zero. We'll get a look of uh, Hudson's future down in the lightweights here tonight. He's got a nice looking front head here. Let's see if he can score on. He's got to bury that head, keep that tight, and look for that ankle. He's got to bury his head deeper than that. Gary looking to come around. And we get a stalemate with a minute nine to go in the first. Final match of the night, Chippewa Falls will win its first conference since, I'm not sure. Maybe 02, 03, somewhere in there. The Raiders have reeled off eight out of the last nine, I believe, if I got my figures right. And we get a re restart and stalling on Gauger, if I'm saying that right. Gager, Dauger. Here he goes in looking for a high crotch, misses it. Switches off to a single on the near side. Let's see if he can finish this. Nice hips right there. That, those hips just impressed me right there out of Yuri. Might end up getting a takedown here. If he can get his left arm. And we get a restart. 
Nicely done by Yuri. of the first period. 0-0 zero, zero going in the second. Yuri's got choice, defers. Gauger's gonna go down. He's trying to dig a bar out, but he's off to the side and no uh, forward pressure or hip pressure. Not going to be able to pull that bar out from that position. Yuri did a nice job there. Gogo was looking for the old famous fat man roll. Now Yuri goes right into a cradle, right on the edge of the mat. Let's see if he can pull him back into the mat. Got to be careful here. And he does have it locked up. Does have near fall coming. Boy, a pin here would be nice. Little anti-climatic would be nice. What's with the elbow there? So Yuri takes a 3-0 uh, lead. Be honest with you, I don't even know what Yuri's last name is. Let me see if I can find it here. Bronson, there it is. All right, here he goes right into a bar. Now forward pressure on this, forward angle, right to his ear. Run that, run that. Looking for the fat man roll again. Yuri does a nice job of riding them out. 3 0 going into the third. Yuri's got choice, should go down. And he does. get back up to his base here. Gary up to his base. Now if he get a little hand control, try to get that left arm of Gougars over his head. That'll allow him to turn into him. Trying to come out the back door here. We're kind of in a bit of a scramble. Yuri can't turn his hips the other way. He's turned his hips the right way. Naturally, though, you want to turn your hips and try to scoop, but then you'll go to your back. And we get a stalemate with 30 seconds to go. Yuri's got to be 
be careful here not to get pinned. You can come out the back door here. And there it is, two reversal. Nice job by Yuri. Yuri will take a 5-3 lead coming up on the end. This weekend the Raiders are off, but next up we'll have conference down in River Falls the first weekend in February. If anybody uh, views this prior to that, come on down and support your Raiders. And there it is, Yuri Bronson wins his first varsity match by a score of five to three. Final team score and conference champions, Chippewa Falls wins by a score of 30 to 26. Very good duel, congratulations to Chippewa. We'll hopefully see you all at River Falls first weekend of February. Good night.